Hey, what's up everybody? Bob here with Tile Pro Source. Uh, today I'm here with my good friend John Roberts with Ben OJ Gunlock Company. And uh, we're going to do a demonstration today on different size trowel notches and um, the coverage that they achieve on large format tile. We're going to demonstrate using a piece of uh, plexiglass. And we're going to, so ordinarily you would back butter the tile or the substrate uh, and either use the flat side of the trowel to key in the coat on one or key in the uh, scratch coat onto the, the substrate or the tile and then stand your trowel notches up on one or the other and set it. Um, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to show how well the notches fold over and we're going to trowel on ridges on our substrate, which is a, a piece of backer board here. And we're going to set the plexiglass and show how well the notches fold on four different size, make that five different size trowel notches. We're gonna start with a half by half inch, which is, you know, the old school industry standard, large format tile trowel. And then we're gonna to go to a quarter by quarter or quarter by three eighths U notch, uh, half by one quarter U notch, a slant notch that's a one half by five thirty second, and then last but not least, a Euro notch. And then when we're finished, we are going to demonstrate one of our best-selling tools, which is a Montelit Batile Pro uh, Thump and Suction Cup. Show how well it pushes out the air from behind the tile and, and seats it and helps you gain the uh, 90 to 100% coverage that you're looking for. So, You know, it used to be when I learned how to set tile almost 40 years ago, we used to do swirl trials like this. Well, there's no way for that air to get out. See that area right there? There's no way, I don't care what you do, you will never get that air and collapse that ridge right there. So it's real important that you trowel all in the same direction. Now, I don't care what you do to get the thin set out onto the, the substrate. You know, you can swirl it, you can do whatever, but come back and make sure that you comb it straight. All right, so now we're gonna set this piece of plexiglass and we're gonna show exactly what happens when we set a piece of tile. You can take and push down. If you had a rubber mallet, you could beat them, but see all these ridges here aren't closed? So what you're supposed to do with tile is you're supposed to move it. And if you're doing a half inch by half inch like this, you're supposed to move it one side almost an inch and then move back. Now, see all the voids? What coverage would you say that is, John? What, Looking like at to... that, that looks to me to be about 65 to 70% coverage. Okay. You can even use a beaten block and I still don't think you're gonna get that out. And see, there's areas in here now that there's no way to get that thin set. That air is underneath there and you cannot get that out. So if this were going on a wall, which 95% is the required coverage, this would fail. What happens is, is water goes through your grout joints, gets down underneath the tile in these thin set ridges and collects in these channels. And that's what starts mold growing behind tile. People say, I got mold in my shower and it keeps coming out through the grout. And they go in and they bleach it and they bleach it and they get rid of the mold and two weeks later it's back. It's because it's growing behind the tile where it's holding water. All right, now we're going to try the quarter by one half U-notch. This is a really popular trowel size uh, for large format tile because they say that the ridges collapse uh, easier than the one half by one half square notch. So let's see how it does uh, on this piece of plexiglass. Good job, Bob. Quarter by one half U notch. We're going to take our 24 by 24 tile. We're going to set it. 
I'm gonna put some pressure on it. See, it's almost collapsed the ridges just by doing that right there. Yeah. That's how easy that is to collapse. Quarter just by pressing on it. All right, and we're gonna take it, we're gonna move it, fold the ridges over. What percent coverage would you say we've got there, John? I'd say it's higher than what we had with the half inch by half inch. This is probably 75 to 80 percent. You can see this area here is almost 100 percent coverage. We've just got a little bit up into here. Now you can see we've got a lot better coverage by using this monolith bat tile pro. That right there is about 95% coverage. All right, now we have a slant notch. It's a half by 532nd by one half slant notch designed for large format tile. Um, we're going to give it a try and see how well the ridges collapse on the plexiglass with it. Um, all right, let's see how it folds these, folds these notches over, how well we get coverage. Where's our plexiglass at? Right here. Oh, there it is. All right, this is the slant notch. Play it, drop it in. Work it side to side. Actually, this is designed just to move one direction. All right. So we got pretty good coverage without even vibrating. So let's try that. Let's see a few air pockets in there. All right, let's see what you got. Not too bad. Looks like the slant notch has given us our best coverage of all so far. We're probably well up over 90% coverage with it. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to use a Euro trowel and trowel on ridges to our backer board and set the plexiglass and see how well those collapse um, with just the trowel ridges standing up on the backer board. Well, one thing, that, that slant notch left a whole lot more mortar on the table. the euro or the tile plexiglass into the euro notch. Take it, slide it that way about a half inch. There we have the euro notch with no vibration. And we're going to take our monolith bat tile and try to get the air out from behind it. So let's take a look at the Euro notch after it's been hit with the batile. Good coverage. Say 90, we're, we're definitely above 90% there, so suitable for wet areas. All right. So we just had the discussion about troweling ridges onto the tile and the substrate and how that would do. Um, we had a little debate on whether it was necessary to vibrate and uh, slap the tile if we were troweling euro notches on both sides of it. Um, 
So I said, let's just find out now that we've got everything broke out. So we've got our trial ridges stood up on the, on the tile or on the plexiglass. And we're going to stand up notches on the uh, backer board here. We're going to set it without vibrating it, see what the air pockets look like. Um, because that's the way we're taught with uh, gauge porcelain panels to put a trial notch or a euro notch or a slant notch on the tile itself, on the panel itself, and on the substrate. So let's see if suction and, and vibration is uh, necessary to collapse all those ridges and how much air gets trapped behind it. So. And that is a lot of mortar up under that. We got the best coverage out of the slant notch and it is a half by 5 30 second slant notch uh, you can get these at tileprosource.com um, and they, they they did best without troweling both the tile and the substrate uh, we got the best coverage and the best folds out of this I would say second to easiest to fold over was the quarter by half U notch trowel um, it folded over real well. Um, and then the Euro notch. And last but not least, the half by half. We had to put the most pressure on and, and force the most air out from under the, the half by half notch. And we still couldn't get about 70%. And we still couldn't get above about 70% coverage out of the half by half. I will say this the Batile Pro from Montelit made all the difference in the world. We were able to get up to 90% plus coverage on every single trial knot except for the half by half. So it was uh, definitely a game changer as far as coverage goes and forcing the air out from behind our tile. One thing that John mentioned is, yes, we were able to get great coverage by doubling, the by troweling on the back of the tile and troweling on the back of the substrate. So standing up a notch on both, we got awesome coverage when we set our tile but you cannot do that with the slant notch travel. You exceed industry allowances and thin set manufacturer allowances um, from a lot of thin set manufacturers when you put that much on the wall. So if we were to double uh, travel, travel in the back of the tile and the substrate with this travel, it would leave too much thin set. Or that half by half. Or the half by half. So you cannot double travel these two travels. Uh, even it would leave way too much thin set behind. When we double trowel with these two trowels, we got awesome coverage and it just took very minimal vibration and pressure from the Batile Pro to get almost 100% coverage with these two. So that's why gauge porcelain manufacturers uh, recommend that method. So hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching. Check us out, topprosource.com.